Hello! Good relevant time of day to you as well, Seamus. Um, if everybody out there could let me know how the sound mix is, I had to readjust some things. Um, and just let me know if the music or if anything else is too loud or anything like that. Welcome! It's Tuesday, it's 7-ish, so it's time for Handle Labor Live! And this week, we thought we weren't going to have it in time for the show, but it turns out we do! Aeon's End is actually launched only a day slash month late. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to be in September, it ended up being in October for iOS. It did come out as scheduled on Google, and there were definitely people um, who were playing on Google and being a little bit smug about it. Um, <coughs> but now everybody gets to enjoy the fun. And so we're going to be playing some Aeon's End tonight. Maybe later we'll switch to something else, but I don't know. Um... I'm Jeremy. You can follow me at Mr. J Handel. John is at Migrant P. The company. Wow. There's something in my teeth. The company is Handelabra. You can follow us in all the places. Um, is there a link to the App Store we could put in the chat? Ooh, there probably is, yes. While you do that, I will open my beer. John's going to open an Upstreet barrel aged mango and pink guava sour. Put into a barrel on October 30th, 2018, and bottled on July 5th, 2019, for PEI. So that's exciting. All right. So there's a link to get it on iOS. Uh, you, if you, you need to open that on your iPad in order to get to it. If you don't do the, if you don't do it from your iPad, it'll go to iTunes, and you can't buy <coughs> apps from iTunes anymore. Nope. You can. It says open this on your iOS device. Indeed. All right. So, I think we got all this stuff out of the way. Um, we're very excited. Unfortunately, now we can't give you some great thing like, hey, we're so excited we sold blah, blah, millions of copies on mm. launch day because launch day was Google, um, which is always, when it's tablet only, always sort of the lowest seller because most people on Google don't have tablet devices, or I guess I should say on Android don't have tablet devices. They have either big phones or a phone and maybe an iPad. <laughs> Um, just phone and iPad is pretty common. Yeah, yeah. phone and iPad is pretty <laughs> common. Because, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Android tablets, despite there being like literally hundreds of and maybe even thousands of different options, just hasn't taken off the way the iPad has. Um, all right, so let's play some Aeons and... Wow, that's a really different beer. It's really fruity, but also like oaky and everything from the barrel. <clears throat> okay. You lose whatever your last game is. Yeah, it was actually, I had just started it up and started a game for one <laughs> turn to see if I could get the quick time movie capture thing to work properly. So um, so I'm pleased to announce that last week after the show, I went home and I played Extinction Games until I won. And I did manage to do, so last week we were playing on Expert. Extinction, which is the next one up, is not only do you use the, the increased difficulty, but the mages start with less health, Gravehold starts with less health, and the nemesis starts with more health. And I finally won. It was Rageborn, and I want to say it was... I think it was partly my Adelheim Brahma team, but I think I had a third mage with me. But I Jeremy, do you have anything in front of your quick time window? Um, I might. Try to have that not happen. Oh, yeah? Because it causes flickering and weird updates. Okay. <clears throat> I have moved it. Let me hit something and see how the animation looks. Is it looking s relatively smooth out there on... Yeah, it's now something you can see, but it comes through on the stream. Oh, comes... Uh, yeah, I'm watching the stream. I've got the Twitch, like, right up in the corner here. Right. Cool. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. All right, excellent. So, uh, what shall we play this evening? Up to you. 
Oh yeah, tell me, let me know, uh, Janagro, if it has gone away now that I moved the stuff so that it's not on top of the quick time. Oh shoot, one thing still is on top of the quick time. Hang on. All right, now it should hopefully be better. I'm not seeing that flicker on my Twitch, so hopefully it's it's all fixed now. Um, all right, what should we play? I don't think we played Crooked Mask last time. All right, so we'll play some Crooked Masks. Should we go with uh, Expert? Let's see what the... Uh, we can try. <laughs> Increased difficulty rules. When a corruption is destroyed, it is placed into any player's discard instead of returning it to the corruption deck. Oh, right. Yes, I did play this one. <laughs> And I was like, oh my goodness, like that's really even the worst of the worst. All right. Uh, who do you want to be? Uh, I like Edelheim because he helps the other player get through the corruptions and then also blocks Cookie Mask. Yeah, and actually I should mention too, I'll bring that back up again, because again, just like Sentinels, language is very important here. So when a corruption is destroyed, it is placed into any player's discard pile instead of returning it to the corruption deck. That means that like you can't buy a card <coughs> that culls your deck and being like, okay, well, it's just when it's destroyed when it gets played and when it's in your hand, right? No, because the last step of that is to destroy it, and then when it's destroyed, it has to go it has to go right back into the discard. So um, that was, I misread that, and I tried to buy a card to destroy one, and then I realized my mistake, so. All right, so you're gonna be Edelheim. I mean, my Edelheim Brahma is good, but what is a good one to go against this specific thing? Who else has a cold Mist deck? helps draw through at least get past a hand of corruptions <laughs> right <clears throat> no i'm not sure i haven't played too many of the expert ones so yeah i'll try mist i don't play her very often so this will be interesting okay uh and i had just done a random supply does this look good we got three gems two four throw out three four five yeah i would change the amber for a for a sifter's pearl cool and yeah, we've got the focusing thingy, focusing orb. Yeah, focusing orb is good. Do we have any culling? We do not. But we, we can't really, we don't necessarily want to destroy yeah, cards, right? Yeah, like I guess that's the, true. Like you want to have the more. The thinner your own cards, the more percent your corruptions are in this, so. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. This seems fine. Yeah, we got a couple low costs and a couple of big hitters, so that's good. All right, so we're playing on Expert. We got Edelheim and Mist against Exper Expert Crooked Man. <clears throat> Arega is really enjoying the Android tablet version. Thanks, Arega. Oh, thank all right, uh, so I'm Mist. All right, so let's play all gems. Uh, and right, so her um, unique is the Garnet Shard. You gain one ether, or you can cast any player's prep spell. Obviously, we don't have any prep spells right now, so... Um, so that's that. All right, so we'll put that there, and I've got four. Yeah, I will tell you one of the things that actually let me win that other one was I started playing um, damage focus instead of economy focus right off the, the gate, and um, right. it worked that out That was against really Rageborn? Well. It was against Rageborn, yeah. So actually, I think I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna grab uh, <coughs> one of those, Excuse and me. we'll discard right this. All right, standard opening. Edelheim. Uh, well, sure. And yes, I will draw. Yeah, you can play that and open the second breach and do that. Edelheim wakes up Takewalker in the morning. <laughs> the most crystals in hand. Well, that's me. Oh. At, as happened to me before in an Edelheim game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> On and the second turn, that's rough. And gains a card from any supply that costs four or less. What would you like? Well, um, basically anything in the top two rows except for the. Um, yeah. The, is that a pearl? No, what is that one? Opal, that's right. Burning opal. Uh, let's get the spell that lets me get a charge. Actually, that gives you a charge, but whatever. So I, but I have one as well, so. Right. Okay, and there's the Corruptor, everybody's least favorite. Shoot the Corruptor. Corruptor bad. Oh, yeah, and that's a good thing to think about now. It's like, usually it's like, well, we don't oh, want to hit the Corruptor because we're going to get... Oh, it, oh, I forgot the Corruptor makes this whatever it happened. I forgot the Corruptor is like every time you hit it. <laughs> yeah, see, and I but thought it, you were being all strategic here. I was trying to give you more credit. No, I was saying I like... 
if we're going to be doing the corruptions, it's like if we're going to have to have them, maybe we just get them all now and then we can deal with them? I don't know, maybe. Oh, that was a mistake. It was a mistake. You heard it here first, folks. John, make it a mistake. All right, so now I'm going to open this. And I'm gonna there. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to go back either because I didn't really have anything else on my turn. All right. Uh, just so what right. do those do? So we've got gain a relic from any relic supply pile, then suffer damage equal to half its cost rounded up. And we have suffer one damage, return any card that costs zero ether from your discard to your hand, which you have none. So Yeah, so it doesn't matter the order. Okay. And you've already got two, so I guess... <clears throat> Oh, right. These were yours. Right. That's why I was doing that. Okay. Well, I went ahead and took your corruptions. Maybe I'll give them back to you the next time. <laughs> yeah, they moved to any player's discard pile, right? Yep. So, nor they would normally destroy themselves and go to the bottom of the deck. Uh, no. Well, I have a... My starter card lets you, like, draw through, right? So... Right. Like, to get past those corruptions a little easier. And... Um, the other gem can do that too. So let's get a Sifter's Pearl. Oh, right. That's why I chose Sifter's Pearl. Yeah, nice. Let's just skip past them. <clears throat> okay. I already, so I've got your two corruptions. This would be two more. They're your corruptions now. Yeah. Are there 11 cards in the Corruption deck? I guess there would have to be. I believe so. Okay. That would make sense. Um, I'm just trying to decide now if so I you want... Could draw, you could draw one less card to avoid drawing them. That's true. <clears throat> I guess the question is, like, do I want to start hitting on him or... Um, like, I've already got two Corruptions. We're going to get all the Corruptions eventually anyway, or should we wait to one shot? Yeah, let's wait till I mean, doing yeah, either way, it's fine. And then I'm gonna finish casting and part of this. And we'll gain the ether. All right, so what do I have? Okay. Right, I went. That's um, only four. Yeah, I'm gonna grab one of those relics. Now we each have one, so we'll have lots of. The ability to heal up Gravehold if need be. <clears throat> Woven Sky. Alright, we got Bleed Static, which is usually not great, so we gotta try and figure it out. Yeah, see, so you're at, at half health, <laughs> so that's why I keep thinking, like, well, maybe Mist should just take all of these. Sure. But I feel like that, I don't know, maybe that won't work out so good for us, but we'll find out. Okay. Yeah, the self damage of the corruption is probably the worst part of it. And we don't have any healing. I don't think we're going to win this yeah. based on our setup. We should have brought some healing. Forgot about that, too. All right, I will also grab a Sifter's Pearl. All right, well, I may as well play the gems. Play that and focus my breach four. And gain a ruby, sure. I should have discarded for the power. Oh well, that's fine. I'll do that this turn if I get to go first. Nope. Mm. Well, not you. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be a quick game. Yeah. Yes, this is a burden. I guess we'll each take one this time around. And you're getting closer, and you need a third one. Well, so. I have Sifter, Sifter's Pearl, so in, if I get to go, can discard those that are on top of our decks. Did I turn? Yep. Oh, yeah, I have to turn this way up. That's <clears> why I keep sitting. All right. All right, so, yeah, play that and discard both of them, I'm, unless you want yours. I mean, okay. I mean, I assume if we can always go back, I just. Uh, I would rather focus the breach and put the amplify vision into that, or the whatever that the good spell is into the closed breach. Oop. 
I always forget that it picks that one last. All right. So like so? Yep. Cool. <clears throat> uh, right, so this is the one that lets me bring something that's zero back. So I will grab a crystal and I will keep it, I guess. All right, I'm going to hit the Bane Sire. Ooh, look at this. When did I get a second one of these? You got oh, it from the corruption. From the corruption, yep. All right, so, yes. What is hers again? Oh, just drawing cards, right, okay. Um, my goodness. Yeah, this was about how my last game trying to do uh, Expert on Crooked Mask <laughs> was, was like, we're getting to be about halfway through that deck. <laughs> the corruption Anyone just Anyone in the chat there beating everything, everyone on Extinction or Expert? Let us know. I feel like we're probably not going to be using Mist's power. I mean, if we make it that far, but <laughs> like <clears throat> getting more cards into your hand is probably not such a great thing unless you know what those cards are going to be and you, you know you can get rid of them. So, all right, well, more damage. Kill, use the sparks to kill the other guy, the Bane Sire. Use the sparks, okay? And then hit the other guy with the two damage. Got it, yep, yep. Don't want to have prep spells. Lead static almost up. Uh, play the relic and open my breach four. And play all the gems and you can discard your draw and discard if you want. I mean, you're just drawing another one, but at least you'll get through one yeah. of them. The question is, which one is it? Suffer two damage with a gem for the least expensive into your hand, destroy this. Or this one, suffer one damage. Yeah, interesting. Oh, actually, I guess it's not that interesting. <laughs> She's only already down to one health. Uh, sure. By the wildfire whip. Take Walker's friend across town. Lost, just lost power. Watch out. Oh no. And discard the two good gems first and then the relic and the crystals. <laughs> Feeling green. All right, wait, we're finally through the corruptions? Okay. That seems fun. Eventually there'll be no corruptions left in the deck. That's how you win. Yep. Mist is down already. Indeed. You can discard that. Um, oh, right. Um, yeah. Um. Yeah, I can't Let's see what Start I have. Start thinking about what the next game's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm just gonna do this. Maybe I'll draw this the thing that lets me use it. Nope. Oh well. That lets me destroy any card non-corruption in my hand. Sure, destroy a crystal. Yes. And you can give that back to me. Play all gems. It's kind of nice you can actually control, like, if you, like, that one is, like, very similar to Lash's ability, right? Like, take a damage, or Pajax's, I think, take a damage to... to destroy right. a card, yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. It's not the worst. Uh, let's buy a charge. 
Yeah, so Mr. J77, how does this enemy scale to four mages? I feel like it'd be easier since they would spread out the corruptions. Care to comment? Uh, yeah, that's definitely a factor there. You also have a lot more health pool with four mages. Mm -hmm. Like double the health pool. So um, that is certainly um, a factor. However, that being said, um, each mage gets half as many turns per villain turn or per nemesis yep. turn. And so that that's sort of that's the auto balancing that kind of happens there, which is that, you know, it's it takes much longer for each mage to get set up be, and you know, and the sort of the trade-off there is across four mages, you have more opportunities to deal damage, but you also have more health and um, yeah. I think in general most players find four mages harder. I don't think it's necessarily actually harder, but uh, like in terms of like chance to win, but it's harder to play it well. If that makes sense, mm -hmm. right? Like you need to look. One strategy with four mages is to really specialize on each mage. Like have one mage. Say you bring Brahma, who's like basically just buying gems and buying charges to heal the other mages, right? And then another mage is just like buying only buying offensive spells uh, and that sort of thing like so specialize the mages to to certain tasks um, in the game someone should really instead of everyone being a generalist someone should really show that maybe on a live stream in oh say five minutes <laughs> we could do that we'll each play two and we can uh, sort of specialize a little bit and see how that plays all right I've taken some liberties because we were talking, but I've gotten you to a point where I would like you to tell me what you'd like to do. Uh, sure, prep the sparks in the low ones, prep the other one. Uh, buy a charge. Three damage, just hit me and get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way we're winning that. And there it is. All right, so um, do we want to do that exact same thing and just add two mages to it? We could. That might be a pretty sure. good, might be a decent sort of A, B test. All right, so who would you like your second one to be? And I guess uh, I'll just do a, a, a similarly random on Master Magic and we can go back in and take a look. And maybe switch up. Yeah, we need some healing, so either Kadir or Brahma. Those are the only sources of healing. Yeah, in I'm a big fan of core Brahma, game. so I will play Super Healer Brahma. Okay, and uh, I like Zaxos, the Charge Giver. Yeah, but more important than the Charge Giver is the layout the whole next round, yeah. if you can do it at the right time. And Kadir, especially the... in a four-player game, that can be really great. Kadir is really good. We don't. One of the things we don't actually have, though, is someone who's really good at like doing a ton of damage. So that would be Kadir or Jian. Um. So rather than Zaxos, I mean, if we, I would switch Mist with Zaxos and bring Kadir or Jian. I think. Sure, I can. So I'll do Zaxos, and then you pick one. So I'll do Zaxos and Brahma, and then you'll be Edelheim and. Uh, let's do Kadir. And Kadir. All right. And we are once again doing it on Expert. All right, so let's take a, take a look at our supply. We've got some Vriswood Amber, which we had swapped out earlier for the Pearl. And I think we should yeah, do that again. Let's do the Pearl. Uh, Diamond's going to be really tough. To yes. Diamonds are going to be... So diamonds are not forever in this setup. <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't even know if we need more than two gems here, right? Like, yeah, I agree. So I feel like if we... I do like the Burning Opal, but it's going to be hard to actually get to buy it. Yeah. Um, so I would swap out the diamond for um, the chargey relic. And we get relics for free, right? From the. So it's right. nice to have a couple good relics. All right. So, yeah, we've got a four, a six, and two sevens. I feel like we don't need two sevens, and we definitely don't need to destroy a two cards, two sevens. So, um, I don't know. I, I really like uh, Amplify Vision. I also yep. don't hate Oblivion Swell. Amplify Vision's nice with Kadir on the board. Um, Chaos Arc, obviously. I like that big seven. Um, yep. That's a pretty good, I, I like how that is, because Spectral Echo's still fine. Like, um, mm -hmm. we can still get rid of Sparks and stuff. Like, it's a slow way to do that, so. 
I'm I feel good about this setup. All right, here we go. Let's try harder this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we brought more people with us, so. All, All right. right, standard opening. Standard opening. And whoever wants that, uh, someone could get uh, five ether on their turn by doing this, right? So. Um, right. Which would be good to like, if Kadir's gonna be like the damage dealer, um, if you let her discard her spark, then she's gonna be able to buy, actually I guess there's no five cost spell, right? So she's gonna be able to buy a big spell regardless, but she could buy like a, uh, yeah, it's maybe not that great. Um, yeah, I mean, I was, honestly, I Brahma for... could buy the 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 charger if if she's going to be our sort of, you know, mage slash healer person. Having her do a five right off the bat, and then she can immediately start charging people before she even goes economy. So that's good. Sure, that's that sounds good. I like that plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. Great. Uh, all right. So yeah, because yeah. we're going to be hitting ourselves a lot. <laughs> big John, am I big? Oh, could you read out each mage's power real quick? Certainly. Um, so Edelheim is Ethereal Ward. When a nemesis attack or power is drawn, but before it is resolved, you may discard it, and it has no effect. Brahma is any player gains four life. Kadir, uh, player, uh, and this can be during any player's main phase. That player may return up to three spells in their discard pile to their hand, and then they may prep up to two spells to each of their open breaches. It's a really crazy powerful thing, but it takes a lot of setup. And then we've got Metaphysical Link. Uh, allies collectively gain four charges and reveal the turn order deck and then return the revealed cards in any order. Am I like giant on the stream output or something? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Has it been like that this whole God time? Is mighty. No, I, just like a second ago, Timor could posted about it so yes it, it is Hang your on. screen suddenly enlarged well thank you all right he should be back to normal size not teeny tiny john this is teeny tiny john <laughs> teeny tiny john this is quite a nice like a lot of sours are i imagine when this beer went into the barrel it was pretty sharp sour but it's really mellowed out Ooh, see unleash and now we realize that we should have let anybody else take this because now that person would have six and they could buy one of the big spells. Because uh, they doesn't it say that they get... Oh, they get any player draws a card? And, yeah, they have suffer three damage and draws. and draws a card. Well, we didn't know what was going to come up. I know. Um, yeah. What's Edelheim's... Yeah, Edelheim. Let Edelheim well, yeah. The, the corruption is one thing. That's a separate thing from the Unleash. So if Edelheim gets to draw again, he could buy um, something that costs six yep. and get to use his starter again. But he doesn't really need to buy something that costs six, right? Well, uh, I don't know. He could buy the... Yeah. I mean, yeah, he could buy... We could let him buy a Relic with his five and let somebody else get a five as well. I mean, hell, yeah, that's if, probably, if we get three everyone, of us having that Relic up front yeah that will be really good let's do that let's go charge charge whole charge hog okay so so who's whoever's not going to do that wants to get the corruption so uh i don't know let's flip it's a coin flip because they, they also have to take three damage so zach says can do it all right no what they i literally just talking about how they person doesn't have to do both of these things. Oh. I didn't realize we were in the middle of an unleash. I guess I wasn't paying That's what it, like, attention. The first thing was the unleash. Click the one thing to do the unleash, and then the other thing is totally separate. Alright. Well, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Because he's still going to do this, and he's still going to do this. Alright. Play all the things? Uh, Sure. Do you want something for three, or do you want to heal, or what do you want to do? Uh, no, I want the four ether to buy the ruby. And you can discard the healing first. All right, so as discussed, she's going to get the relic, the relic. <clears throat> yeah, and see things like this, Woven Sky, like this one doesn't stop you in your tracks when you got three extra characters instead of just one extra character. 
Like I know that like this one, and then there's a the one that is the everybody discard crystals or you have to hit grave hold. Like that's way easier when you have four people. Right. This All one right. lets you bring a crystal back to your hand if you want. Great. And now we have to decide who's gonna put this in their discard. Uh, yeah, so if this is mine, I will keep it for now. Yeah. It can let you get your starter card back, which is nice. And you could get rid of that power if you want or not. Oh, yeah, that's true. I was just talking about how these kinds of things aren't as big of a deal, but... All right, so we'll do this and that. Oh, it's three. Okay, perfect. No, 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 good. I'll solve two. There's that corruptor. All right, so we'll not try to nickel and dime him. So don't cast those. Yep. Uh, play all the gems. Sure, buy the talisman for Edelheim as well. All right. Delivered your Amazon package with Pokemon Detective Pikachu, 3D Blu-ray, Blu-ray, and mm. digital code. Yay, thank you, Amazon. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. <clears throat> uh, you can cast this at Crooked Mask, sure. And play the gems, open breach two. And prep those. Make some room. Buy some big spells next. All right. We have enough damage on the board to get rid of that haze spewer. Pretty handily. One by one. Oh, the haze spewer. Yeah, sure. Kill that. All right. Who? I think Edelheim is gonna like. Sure. It's always good to be able to Yeah, this will be interesting, too. Like, we could always go with the dump them into Zaxos and then let Zaxos throw them off. Although, I guess... I mean, yeah, it, it wouldn't be a one-to-one, -one, you know, if not for the, you know, being able to also control what the order of the turns is going to be. Yeah. Uh, what do I want to buy? So she was going to go economy, and she hasn't done that yet. So that's fine. I will... I mean, everyone needs to get at least some gem to... Oh, no, no, sure. I'm just trying to decide. I'm, I'm trying buy to the things they need, but... Yeah, that's fine. I'll grab one of these. But, like, she probably doesn't even need to focus a breach Actually, ever. <laughs> I'm not going to. I take it back. I am going to buy the Sifter's Pearl. Because it's, I mean, ostensibly, if I'm not going to be buying a lot of spells anyway, it's right. really six one half dozen of the other, and then the Citrus Pearl can actually be more valuable in these cases. There's a bleed static again. Okay. All right, shoot the haste viewer. Yeah, the other thing when you're playing with four that's different from three or two is that like you will never get a second turn in a round whereas yeah. with three and two that's always possible I mean, it won't you be everyone you can still go twice in a row at the end of the you round you can still go twice in a row that is true all right so give a charge to zaxos gives us more flexibility basically it's giving a charge back to edelheim uh and play those and uh unless someone has a i mean if you have if someone has a corruption on top of their deck yep zaxos. They, should, they should do this and get rid of it unless you want it but uh for ether so what did i buy i have uh edelheim hasn't bought a gem yet right and i was thinking he probably should yeah so he can buy a ruby i think and discard the talisman first and left to right so team morgan says so remind me what's the yellow ether for so yeah different things have the ability to do different things so on this card the searing ruby you get two regular ether and then one ether that can only be used to gain a spell hence yellow there's also um i want to say jian i think has a starter that you have um 
Only for gems. Only for gems. And apparently in the expansions, we were talking about this last week, in the expansions, there are ones that like can only be used on a relic or could potentially maybe even only be used on like a charge or something along those lines. So, All right. Uh, yes, how would you like to discard? Yeah, uh, left or right. All right. Unleash. <clears throat> um... I feel like Brahma can probably take this unless either one of yours you think it would be a better choice. Sure, Brahma's fine. Okay. Don't want to put too many on one person's. Right, that's what, talk. yeah. Part of the idea here is to spread them around a little bit as per what they were discussing. Yeah, so. we'll get more mileage out of Citrus Pearl and stuff. Uh, you can leave those spells there. Okay. Uh, play all gems. Let's see, what have I got? Uh, that's three, four, seven. I actually only really want six, so... Uh, any player gains one life can give a life to Hooray. him by the chaos arc. And that is going to let us one shot. Nice. Guy. So on my next turn, oh, well, yeah, I guess, yeah, I, I need to cast one of those sparks and prep that. And then the, the turn after that, I can kill one shot the guy. Nice. So a couple turns away, but we'll get there. All right, so Zaxos. And we have some relics we can use to heal up Greyhold. I went ahead and gave it to Adelheim. Uh, all right. What did I buy? Just the relics so far. Yeah, this is only the yeah, second round. You could, like, charge up Adelheim now, though. That might be not a bad idea. That's true. And this is the most optimal time to use Zaxos. Right, because, yeah, you can so we'll charge up Edelheim, let the, like... And go one to each of the others. All right, so now we get to decide. What do we want our fate to look like? Uh, right, so... Bleed Static's going to go up in two turns. Um, so we could get entirely three... through this round without it if we wanted to. What? Like right now, if we all chose not to, if we've cast everything and didn't prep anything, then no one has to take any damage. If we put. Yeah, but Kadir wants to have three spells prepped. Right. So she should go after both Crooked Mask's turns. Okay. Whenever they happen, she should go after. Okay. So she should go, she can go last or that's fine, right? Sure. Um, I would put probably Crooked Mask first so that yeah, so we Abelheim know what we're dealing could with. Get, to, get to go right away. Um, and then. Maybe like, yeah, then the other mages, and then Crooked Mask, and then Kadir, does that make sense? And then everyone can make sure to, I mean, as long as no one has more than three prep spells. Sure. That'll be fine, so. Or more than two, because Kadir is going to take, be at two. All right, so now we've got another discard, unless we want to yeah, use. Yeah, so let's, what's this, what's the Nemesis card here? Unleash and any player draws discards three and draws one. Yeah, so that's pretty easy to get rid of. Um, like someone might already have like a Sifter's Pearl in their hand that's just like really cheap to blow up. Sure. Um, so yeah, I'd probably rather just skip the ability on this and if someone has a card in their hand because, uh, but no one does. Yeah. So That's fine. let's use the ability. Oh, okay. Because we don't have a way to get rid of it, right? <coughs> so. Excuse me. And I and I can easily discharge back up. So. Um. All right. Yeah. So basically, prepping two spells is fine because if you want to. Um, because Kadir's gonna have two, so basically Kadir's happy to take the four damage. Um, or anyone else who happens to be okay. there. But I guess we don't want Zaxos to take, but it'll be a tie. Uh, right. Uh, 
have? Oh, right. Um... Went ahead and grabbed a, um... What's it called? Ignite. Figure if I have to have any kind of a spell, that might, might as well get one that also does some of my buffing. I guess not buffing, but my granting of charges slash healings. I thought we were specializing. We are, but that's what I'm saying is like that is if I have to have a spell, that spell is doing the thing to. that she's specializing in. I know you I don't, don't have, have to, have but to. I didn't want to waste. I didn't want to waste an ether. Well, you could have bought two charges. That's and it's true. not a waste if you're doing the thing that you're supposed to be focusing on. All right. I will. Oh, you're basically I rationalizing, rationalizing. I can't. I can't go back far enough to undo it. Oh All right, well. So, just think. Of, just think about that. I know you don't want to waste ether, but you're undermining our strategy. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, so prep the spark and buy two charges. We need Brahma to be healing, and she's not getting charges very fast. Uh, I would say Kadir. Yeah, Kadir can suffer damage here. Bane Sire. All right, so cast the middle, the rightmost spark at the Bane Sire and leave the other one where it is. Finish casting. Prep the Chaos Arc. In Breach 2, play gems, focus, and prep the nice spark there. And hopefully Kadir gets to go first. Nope. Oof. Uh, Edelheim can have one. Oak doke. Attempt. All right, what happens? They also have to take three damage. Yep. Yeah, it's excellent. Yeah, it's fine. Um, oh, yeah. Gain any card that costs four or less. Four or less. What do we have Zaxos doing so far? Basically nothing. Gravehold is getting really wrecked. It's all right. It, hasn't he bought something other than... I swear that Zaxos had bought more than just that relic. Am I going crazy? I guess I must be. Um, all right. I think Zaxos... Zaxos bought some charges and stuff, mostly. I yeah, think. I think that's probably right. Uh, you can hit the Bane Sire. And... Yep, just play all the things. Uh, who wants the charge? Oh, well, yeah, I guess who wants... Does, yeah, Zaxos has a corruption to get past. Oh, and so does Brahma, right? So, yeah. Zaxos is lower health, though. And give a charge to Brahma, I think. And prep the spark. Buy two charges. Adelheim is ready again. Discard the charge you want first, then left to right. All right, one shot on the worst man. Yep. And she has to take one and then hit the Bane Sire with the other two spells. And we definitely want to start amplifying our visions. So let's play all these. Heal Zaxos. That gets him out of one shot damage range, which is yep. nice. Yep. Uh, let's buy an Amplify Vision and a Charge. Yeah, basically no one else needs to really be buying spells except for Kadir. She can be the one that's hitting things. All right. Um, Brahma, I think. Yeah, Brahma. You need to heal up a little bit. Great. 
big crystal hand. Uh, we don't have to do this. Use my ability. We're charging Edelheim fast enough that we may as well use it whenever we can. Oof. She gains a spell. Any spell. But you have to pay just three corruptions. You may as well get a good one. <laughs> uh, and that has to get discarded to someone. All right. Um, yeah, so this is still me, so I'll keep it. All right. And, yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can get a charge and use your ability and then, like, get, keep getting charges. <laughs> or buy some more ether if you want, but... Uh, yeah, you can discard a crystal and keep the other thing. And give Edelheim charges when in doubt. Yeah, and then I'm going to go ahead and... Axos. Yeah, another problem with Brahma getting spells is you end up not being able to put them anywhere. Yeah. It's actually better if she doesn't have any. <laughs> but well, I guess then next turn I can get Spectral Echo and just start destroying all the others. <laughs> I'll get a spell to destroy a spell. What? Yeah, better just not get them. Yeah. Use the stones to destroy the stones. <laughs> Zaxo sort of has a similar breach setup, right? Where if he's going to play a game, like, without using spells, he's pretty happy with that, right? Like, he has, it costs him so much to open his breaches that he can just not buy spells and let someone else like Kadir or Gian, right. who has a really easier time getting a lot of spells. So. That's the last talisman. But they're so good. They are. Spend yeah, six ether to get rid of this. Uh... Yeah, so this is just happening. Uh, someone should take this who is hurt. So, Kadir, right? Sure. It heals you for two. So, uh, you can leave that where it is. Play all the gems. Uh, what do I have coming up? Crystal, spark, relic. Talisman. Am I going to get charged by the time another turn another bad guy turn comes i don't think right so yeah none of the other characters have their relics in yeah, hand yeah let's buy a sifter's pearl because i want to start like that's worth a charge just to play it so all right the corruption went to someone it was yours so i just left it in your trash but i guess we don't have to do that she only has the one Everybody else has more than more than that. Well, I guess Edelheim doesn't. Whose trash? She it just went back to her own trash. Can I look at it? What does it do? Take two damage and get a gem. Kidir doesn't want that. Like Brahma. Oh does, no! This right? is, it was this one. Place a gem for least expensive into your hand. But either way, yeah. it's the same. So does Kidir? Kidir doesn't want that. She wants spells. She doesn't want, like she wants the corruption that gets her a spell, not a corruption that gets her a gem. Does she go to someone who wants to buy gems? Gotcha. So I know Brahma was gonna focus. Can I just sit on my thing again? Yeah, Brahma or Edelheim are both like want to be charging themselves up and gems are good for that. So let's play all those. can discard the crystal and keep the chaos arc. Oh shoot, wait, hang on. Let's do this again. All right, so you want to discard this, but you want to keep this, and I want to discard this and keep this. Great, there we go. 
All right, you can put that in breach one, please. And... Let's see. For five, ether. What do I have coming up next turn? A lot of spells. A lot of spells and not an ability to put them where I want. Uh, only two ether next turn, right? Yeah. Well, that's just gonna be how it is. So let's open breach three. And discard left to right. Yeah, so to answer the chat, I would I actually really want to see Dark Phoenix once it's available someplace that I don't have to pay extra for it. I'm very interested to see basically, you know, what happened. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, this is just damage. Uh, this one is discard two cards, take two damage, shuffle a player's turn or a card. Yeah, who do we, who would most benefit from going again right away? Uh, Kadir's gonna be able to prep all her spells. Edelheim's gonna be able to get some more charges. It's gonna be 50-50 whether it's... Does anyone have six ether on their turn? I don't think so. Yeah, and, and Brahma will not <clears throat> on her next yeah. draw. Yeah, either Edelheim or Kadir I would put in. And I don't know who really wants that, but... Yeah, nobody. No one. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Well, it's just a Bane Sire. Yeah, we we've... That, like, easy to kill. Let's do that. Bane Sire. Yeah, 99 times out of 100, I choose the the minion, but sometimes... Well, unless, really like, if it's Rageborn, just who's going to get two tokens or whatever, it's not so bad. Uh, so yeah, hit the Bane Sire with this. Uh, prep the Amplify Vision into number three. The Chaos Arc into number two, and a Spark into number one. Uh, play the Gem and buy a Spectral Echo. Start getting rid of some of these Sparks. Probably Crystals too. Well, you have your big spell. You did get that on accident, so that's nice. What do you, if you have lots of spells coming up, but you don't. Yeah, we need heals, so. Yeah. So that can go to whoever wants to get their starter being played more, which would be like Edelheim, but. Sure, if someone else wants it, I'm happy to give it away. All right, so I'm gonna prep that because that was the reason I bought it, was so that I could start opening these things. Um, All right, that expired. So we are unleashing twice, and actually one more time. So there are three unleashes. So probably one person should just suffer this whole like reshuffling problem. Yeah, and uh, Zaxos has no corruptions right now. I think he might right, be the Zaxos only one. Zaxos gets all of them. Yep. Have fun. <laughs> actually, no, I don't think Edelheim has any either, but that's fine. Edelheim has some. We've been putting them. Back. We just put one over there this turn. Okay, Edelheim. Got it. He's got two. Uh, what is that thing? It's a pain sower. It's an armed tooth monster, John. Come on. Yeah, it's clearly. Way Any player suffers two damage. A different player focuses a breach. Has a very terrifying geometry. Uh, let's hit the Bane Sire. And. 
prep the spark, doesn't matter where. Uh, play that for a charge, give the other charge to Brahma. Play those things. Uh, so someone who has like the worst corruption, like I guess Brahma has two in her hand already, right? So yeah. Brahma can do that and discard the one you like the least. Maybe the one that, the damage one. Yeah, actually no, the one that gains three corruptions. Though there's only one left. That does damage Gravehold, right? If there's none left. Yeah. So we should probably yeah, get rid no. of the one that gains three corruptions because it hurts Gravehold. Yeah, plus the other one gives her a charge. So that's yeah. a, a no-brainer. All right. All right, buy two charges. And we're almost charged up. Hopefully, Zaxos. So I guess Zaxos won't get to go. Who else can go? Kadir. Well, Kadir can kill some pools. Uh, Amplify Vision is going to do... Okay, yeah, so Amplify Vision and Spark is going to kill the Bane Sire. So uh, hit, use Chaos Arc to hit the other thing. Yeah. Oh, or we could kill that thing. Yeah, Bane Sire is worse, though. So worse effect for us right now. Yeah, kill Bane Sire. And put that Spark into, I guess, into Breach 3. Sure. And do I want... How much ether do I want? Should we give give Kadir a life, probably? Get a life! Yeah, I think that that is the right choice. And what do I have coming up in my discard? A corruption where I heal for two! And a bunch of ether. Five ether. And then lots of spells. Okay. Let's buy a charge. It's about time to start using that. And left to right. All right, so someone takes two damage, a different player focuses a breach. So Edelheim hasn't taken damage yet, so I think he can. And we could finish opening up Kadir's breaches, which seems like a good idea, or we could yeah, I mean, each of her three or fours is basically all of somebody else's big breaches because they each get yeah. two if she uses her power. So, or her, excuse me, her ability. I hate Cauterizer. <clears throat> yeah, least favorite. Unsubscribe. Um. Yeah, Zexos can take this. You may as well focus like Brahma's big breach since she has too many spells. You may as well find a place for them. Uh, and then three damage. Gross. Uh, Edelheim can take it as long as he doesn't die. <laughs> Venomite. <laughs> yeah, this is these ones that hit the lowest player are the worst. Uh, so, Kadir healed and hurt Gravehold. I guess this can go to someone else who's hurt more now, like Edelheim. Sure. Uh, I guess we could always try to put it like on someone who has a bigger discard pile too, so it takes longer to come up. Um, a spark that does too. I think we need to hit the the guy who's killing us really bad, right? The three health guy. The no, not him. The other guy. Yeah. Even for only one. You can, if Rama goes up, if Rama comes up, she can just kill the thing in one shot, right, with her spell and stuff. So. I would discard all that stuff. I guess it's better than a corruption, but still. Uh, oh, interesting. So I don't really need my charge ability yet. Right. It's, it's soon. Next time around. Yeah, like the time after the next time around. Because I want to like prep those mm. spells and, them and then prep them again. Sure. Uh, so what's my next turns? Yeah, I still need more spells, so let's buy a Spectral Echo and a Charge. That's probably good balance. We're already way further into this game than we were. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Left to right. All right, great. Brahma can just one-shot that thing. So that is a Charge Giver. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. 
All right. Uh, do, 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 do. You could kill that first spot. That's good. The Venomite's going to start discard. being pretty good. And I'm going to discard both of mine. Do you want to keep the healer or discard it? Uh, keep the healer. Great. It has value. All right, so... Oh, you can heal. I'm going to... Oh, but you have... You don't have to spend your ether for that. Oh, I guess you can... Yeah, you but can I'm going to use... Yeah, no, it's yeah. it's fine. I only had two, so I could technically focus my second breach, but then... Yeah, so Edelheim right, would... So Edelheim effort. first. And then... I think a charge for Edelheim is good, in case Crooked Mask goes again. And this one... Like, I feel like we were just talking about how Kadir doesn't need it, but, like... It's probably better to have. Kadir doesn't need it because, yeah, give it to Zaxos okay. because Zaxos can distribute it. That's right. Okay. A better. So. I'm sorry. Are you trying to say that Zaxos can like take something from everyone and then redistribute it out in a way that is equitable to all? <laughs> Zaxos has a five-year plan. <laughs> <laughs> he has a plan for that. <laughs> all right. Uh, da, 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 I'm actually gonna. Yeah, charges. Start splitting these up. If I can. Max charge. If we get to the point where we don't need healing, then we can stop charging all the time, but I think we're not going to be at that point. They're still useful to give Edelheim charges anyways. Uh, yeah, I mean... Either way, yeah. I really hate the first guy, though. They're both bad. Look at this. We're going to be full on charges on our whole team. You'd over overuse if you <laughs> yeah. use your ability. Well, you, yeah, yeah. So you can if you want. Wait. Oh, right. You just this got focused. You lose two. You lose it on two if you don't use your ability. If you use your ability, so I think it's okay. We don't like super need to control the deck right now. And actually, being able to like suddenly be like, oh hey, Edelheim has a full charge again is great. So. Yeah. Uh, Edelheim can take this, and then this is the lowest, so. Brahma's got more damage at her on Corruption, so might be better for Zaxos, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh, Rising oh, Ray! Rising Ray! Nope, nope. Zoink! Rising Ray. Boink! <laughs> Edelheim, yeah, hit the Corrupt, the, that guy. Play all that. Yeah, same as last time. You kept the Healy one on top? I did. Okay. Uh, six Ether, luxury. <laughs> I'm going to be getting four charges. From, I can get four charges from Edelheim right now, right? So we, yes. We should just do that. Um, and Yeah, and Edelheim then gets to decide exactly what's happening for the entire next round. Yeah, so we can... We can, I think, put a mage first that can, or we can try to like plan to be able to kill those minions first and then have the nemesis go, right? So, what happened? Uh, Zaxos used his ability. Oh, you're, you're assigning charges, okay. Yeah. Right. All right, so as, we, as you were saying, <laughs> I'm a unique individual, just like everybody else. Exactly right. Yeah. Do we have... We, we don't have enough damage on the board. Oh, wait. We might. Can you minus, minimize this? So, Brahma has one. Zaxos has four. So, we can't kill the Venomite before... Oh, but Brahma also has the do two damage, right? Thing. Uh, the corruption. Yep. Mm -hmm. But that's still only one, three... No, that is seven damage. So if we want, we could kill the Venomite before um, Crooked Mask goes. If we want. We may as well. So basically just line up the good guys first and so, then... Well, no, not all the good guys first. So Brahma and Zaxos first. And then Crooked Mask, I think. Uh, and then probably... Like, I'd love to get Edelheim charged up again by mm -hmm. that time, but I don't think that's 
necessarily possible. Yeah, so. we don't. Nobody has a relic in hand right now, so. Yeah. So, but we do want to deal with potentially be able to deal with something. But no one's ready. Like Edelheim and Kadir have no prepped spells, so like they're not going to be able to cast them. Um, so it, I'd just rather not have the nemesis go twice in a row. So we like if it puts in a power that's like spend either or whatever, we can potentially deal with it. Right. So maybe have I mean have Edelheim Kadir or Edelheim Crooked Mask Kadir like just so there's yeah. no not so many turns in a row for the nemesis. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's buy that one more charge. Uh, unless someone's going to give us a free charge. No, that's not going to happen. So buy a charge. And oh, wait. I think you need to take something, tap or drag a card down to discard to gain it. Oh, I think there's must be a bug there. I can't buy a charge because um, I got charges from Zaxos first. Oh, interesting. I don't know if you want to go back. Actually, yeah, if you just go back once. Go back that I can buy that first? Yeah, buy the charge first and then, Okay. yeah. Then you have to do all that again. Yeah, that's a bug. A weird little bug. That's fine. So we had said Brahma, Zaxos, Crooked Mask, Edelheim, Crooked Mask, Kadir. Yeah. Cool. All right. And do I want to buy... Uh, I mean, I don't. I I have four ether, so I could have bought two more charges on my own, and have the other mages get free charges from Zaxos. But it's not super necessary, right? So, uh, let's buy a Sifter's Pearl. I think those. Well, are really uh, just because Brahma's not gonna get another charge in her turn, and if not, oh, right, we're gonna sure. miss an opportunity to heal. So I think I'm gonna go back on what you just said. All right, so, so let me buy, then just let me buy three charges, and then let Zaxos distribute all of his charges around. Perfect. Perfect. That's even quicker. You don't have to choose, because it's like, oh, they yeah. can only go to everyone. <laughs> I don't want to hear any complaining out there in chat land. This is far from the most complex turn we've ever taken. We lost our mint by far. Uh, Kadir has her ability now, but we don't use it, so end turn. Yeah, we've had some Sentinels turns that took 15 minutes to set up, so. <laughs> Especially in Oblivion. All right, so yeah, you've got the discardy one. So I get to deal two damage. Yeah, you gotta hit the Venomite. That was part of the plan. Yeah. And who wants that? Yeah, I'll keep uh, it, it's fine. Sure, okay, to keep it, I guess you're gonna heal yourself. Or you guess, well, I don't know, or are you gonna heal yourself? Don't keep too many self-damaged ones. Oh, this one makes us shuffle the deck. I did, forgot about that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well. We're all ready we're, for whatever happens, so. Um, all right. Who can I send this to? Because this is another self-damage one. Yeah. Uh, Edelheim can get that. He doesn't really necessarily care what cards he has in his hand, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, you could hit the Venomite or hit the other thing since we don't know. I mean, if he hit the hit the five guy because if his Exos happens to go, he does get to kill him. It sure. could happen, right? So. And yeah, you should probably heal Brahma at this point, right? Yep. The Exos is is gonna be real low with those corruptions, but. No, I don't want to use her. Then. It'll, I'm uh, okay. Uh, right, he gets to bring a cost zero card. Let's grab um, one of the bottom card crystals, I guess. One of the bottom card crystals. Like on the right hand column crystal, like the first one. Got it. Uh, I guess Edelheim can keep. I want like the chance for Edelheim to get his starter back as right. much as possible, right? So, uh, so let's prep the spark, uh, play the gems. Uh, someone have a corruption like Zaxos potentially has a corruption that is going to hurt him a lot.
Yeah, maybe the one that makes Gravehold suffer damage. Yeah, yeah, I was just noticing Gravehold is starting to... Yeah, we need to start buying those relics to heal Gravehold, so maybe I will buy a relic to heal Gravehold. Let's do that. Do you, uh, did you want to play, play that? The, you didn't want to play that? Okay. Sorry. So you want the relic. Buy relic to play to heal Gravehold. And end turn. Uh, Ruby, special, yeah. All oh, right, look at all this glory. Yeah. So, so this goes here, right? Third, yep. Uh, amplify vision in the top one. The other two were in, yeah. A spark and breach one, I guess, in case I want to park it. And what do I have in my trash? Probably not. I have three spells in there, I guess. They're only sparks, but they still power up the chaos arc, right? Yeah, and all three of these can go into the breaches. No, sorry, only two of them can go in three and four. I, for I forgot you'd already prepped in there. Yeah, so, sure, uh, go ahead and use the ability and get those back. Well, then we'll be ready to blast everything next turn. Uh, put the Spectral Echo up there. Yep, and Spark, Spark, and three and two. You have a Spark over there, nope. in case you want to leave those alone and not cast them. Want more damage on my Chaos Arc, please? Put that in Breach 2, like I said. Oh, the Chaos Arc, I see. And play that and buy a charge. Yeah, so now you can kill the Venomite. Oh, except... Nope. Our plan was that you would be able to kill the Venomite. <laughs> because, yeah, because we knew it was coming next. Well, you may as well kill the... Yeah. The one damage guy. He's dead. Yeah, we missed that reshuffle effect. We're still doing okay. Venomite is... If the Venomite goes twice, Zaxos is dead. Which is going to happen... Actually, is it just going to happen and we can't do anything about it? Uh, who's going? Brahma is only able to do one damage. So yeah, Zaxos is dead. <laughs> Long live Zaxos. <laughs> He'll be fine. He'll just be exhausted. He doesn't have any charge. Don't even bother buying a charge, right? There's no point. You're going to lose all your charges. Oh, I guess, or we he doesn't have to suffer damage. That's true. Okay, discard a prep spell. Discard, uh... It has to my... cost three or more. Brahma could discard hers. Sure. I'm just saying, like, you're pretty set up, and, like, you've got a super big spell in three. Sure. And if yeah, we... so, yeah, you could discard Brahma's. That's fine. Yeah, I guess if Brahma had gone, that's three damage. Or that would only be two damage, I guess, isn't it? Oh, yeah, this one. We can do the math on this, right? Let me pull up the rule book. We can find, we can see how many, how many, t the chat might have this faster than us. Uh, there are 14 cards left in the deck. This is a tier two card. So we can know how many tier two cards are left. And if there's. I've right. only ever had this card actually discard a tier three nemesis once. Yeah. Well, I mean, the odds are it's not going to do anything, right? Right. But I don't want to waste Edelheim's charge on. Yeah, I know, because like we have to decide, and then you're really you're showing unknown information, and so we can't go back. So. Yeah. Why is preview so slow? It used to be much faster. Uh, so I'm looking at the rule book to. I guess you could look up on the help screen, uh, but I think I don't know if that information is actually in. All right, yeah. So four players. There are seven tier twos and seven tier threes. Um, so we're nowhere near there. Oh wait, no. Oh, there's seven. There's ten, including the three, including the three from the nemesis. So there's ten tier threes. So that means there are still four tier twos left. So we're okay to let this go. Nice. Nothing happened. Yeah, I think so. We could. We're still in danger, right? Because who's still to go? Brahma, and she can't kill that thing. So we should discard another prep spell, right? Like. Okay. I guess, well, I mean, we could always... I mean, the, 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 the main concern was that Zaxos was going to get hit twice by the Venomite, and that was going to be done. Now, that could still happen, to your point. But 
it's not definitely gonna happen. <laughs> and that's, yeah, there might be some other card that hits the lowest, right? That's true. I'm okay to discard a Spectral Echo. It's just a Spectral Echo. It's only two damage. Discard it out of Breach too. It's only two damage. Needle Maw has to die. <laughs> Yeah, this corrupt. This is gaining three corruptions. This is going to be hitting Gravehold a lot. We need to bury this as much as we can or avoid it. But we can't. And we it's just continuing to make Brahma gain spells. We should give this to Kadir so that she can gain spells sure. instead of Brahma. Um, sure. And actually, yeah, it's going to be so that that's going to be on top of her deck. Um... Or we can get to it with Sifter's Pearls, maybe. Yeah, two more damage to Gravehold, hey? That's yeah. bad. I mean... Put, this, put this on where it's furthest away, like Brahma, right? That's 14 cards away from being drawn. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And put that there again. Give Brahma a charge. Yep. Mm. Alright, you can either discard your own spell or take two damage. Yeah. Yeah, if I take the two damage, I'm 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 done on my next turn because I only have one left. Oh, well, I guess unless Brahma goes first, which Brahma will go first. Well, yeah. Gravehold gains three life. I like that power. Leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Ugh. Oh man. Yeah. Well, resolve the one where Gravehold takes three damage. We have to kill Needlemar or we lose. <laughs> uh, yeah, can we bury this one too? Guess we can bury it with Edelheim's deck. He's we'll got 12 him, cards. We're just going to give him all the Brahma. That's the uh, way this is going to go. Well, no, Sifter's Pearls are good to spread it. It helps us to, good to spread the corruptions out, right? Um, instead of being stacked up together. We don't want them to be stacked up together. Uh, no, Needle Maw is the threat. Needle Maw needs... If Needle Maw gets to go off, then we lose, right? So... I didn't say to play that. Uh, play Sifter's Pearl. Can discard the Spark and the Crystal. Uh, play the gems. I don't want to buy things. I want to block the enemy and buy more charges. I guess focus reach for an end turn. We can also stop. We can stop corruptions from happening by not drawing cards. By the way. Hmm. Mm, yeah. For anyone who doesn't need to draw cards. Can relic. All oh, right, there are no relics, so this is just damage. Oh no! Actually, I guess. There's a relic. What do you mean? There's, there's a, relic. a relic. Yeah, yeah. yeah literally sorry. The relic that we want the most. Yeah, sorry, I was not paying attention. All right. This might as well. With Brahma, you could just like sit with that spell prepped and like play a bunch of gems every turn and put them back in your hand and don't discard them and just mm -hmm. buy charges every turn. That would be a good build. Zaxos, I guess. Yeah, I'm just I'm she's in that one shot range. And it's like, well, you don't want to lose the healer. Position healer. You won't lose her. You don't lose. That's true, that's true. Yeah, that's fair. 
I still think of it in those terms, even though they're still really there. Uh, I think it's okay to take two damage. All right. Because we lose. <laughs> so as you can see, if you want your game to just simply last three times as long, but with the exact same result, play with more mages. <laughs> I think uh, we did not buy, we should have bought more of those healing relics first. We didn't Probably. do that. Uh, also, I think uh, you can definitely think about um, having, you could have a mage take all the corruptions and just not draw cards and put them in their discard and leave them as the corruption holder, right? That would be a way that to is a, That is a completely valid strategy. Yeah, so, so next who, time. So uh, who's taking that role? Well, you want to play this again? <laughs> I mean, it's only 820. I feel like we got time, right? We got nothing but time. I'm certainly not doing anything right. with my time this week. <laughs> oh, wait. I am, really. I'm just kidding. We don't have to play the exact same game again. Four mages is kind of exhausting. I don't, yeah, I don't like having to keep two of them. Another time. Mages. Something to think about strategically. You can try that on your own. Indeed. All right. Any other fun strategies that we haven't shown off? We haven't really shown off like single. Well, I guess you've done single player when you streamed without me, right? Like single uh, mage, I should say. Probably. Yeah, I think I've done that once or twice. I don't usually play it solo very much. Like, it's very difficult with one mage. Yes, I went through a, a period where like I was trying that as much as I could, like each mage against each nemesis, and it was really fun. But yeah, it's hard. Like I on played all of those. On, yeah, no, I played those all on beginner. And I probably had like a 10, maybe a 10 or 15 percent win rate. So you could press random three times and see what we get. I agree. Random, random. Well, change the change the the thing to anything goes. Oh, okay. It's master magic. Oh right, we ended up with four, but let's just we'll take two and hit random. All right, Brahman and Kadir. No, we and just had them last right. game. We should play someone that we haven't played yet. I appreciate right, the idea of random, but still. Here's the two mages we haven't played tonight, then. There are three. Vidraxa, Jian, and Lash are the only ones. All right, I'm going to be Lash. Do you want to be Vidraxa or Jian? I'll take Jian, sure. Are we playing expert or regular? We can play regular. Like winning? Let's play fight. All right. I did not even look at the market. What did we get? We got a Jade. We got a Shifter's Pearl. We got my Diamonds. We got the Gem Destructor. We've got the Focusing Orb. Yeah, not bad. Oh, this, yeah, I almost never get the Dark Fire. Discard the two cards in hand, deal three damage. Dark Fire is a lot of damage. It's a really good early, like, it's one of those good candidates for, like, prep your Spark and, and turn so that you can, like, buy one of those, which is, like, a high damage output right away. Gotcha. It's true, you or don't have to destroy as many cards if you're planning to use them to power that. Yeah, we didn't get a single spell over five costs, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what do we think? May as well let them go off right away so yeah. we can start working on it. That's fine. Um, yeah, you know, it's funny. I picked Lash, even though Lash has probably my least favorite... Um, That's a great ability. It's a so great powerful. ability, but I find that I, I I still, to this day, despite playing Sentinels for however many years, I'm still very stingy with my hit points. And especially in a game where you start with only 10, 8 if you're playing on Extinction, I just I have such a hard time trading hit points for anything, really. What can I say? It's a failing. Kind of like the fact that if there are diamonds. And Kadir. Lash and Kadir, and Kadir can heal that one health right back. Yeah, that's good. I don't think I've ever... Played just those two together. You just have to make the nemesis run out of health before you do, right? So, all right, prep those sparks. Gain six ether somehow, or what <laughs> is that? Yeah, that's like six ether to get rid of that, right? Like, I mean, it's only a two unleash for Rageborn, which is not the end of the world. Uh, what's? Yeah, don't press that button. What do I have coming up? Three uh, of those. Okay. So play my innate and buy a jade and end turn. Uh, 
Agony Field. That one slows you down a lot. Well, our highest cost spell is actually five. We actually have a healing spell, so you can use your ability with Wild Abandon. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, finish casting, play all gems, and buy a Dark Fire. That nice six damage spell. That's the highest damage spell we have, so you'll have to get used to it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to hit Rageborn with those sparks. So I could destroy the thing I just bought. Oh no, can I destroy? Or you could destroy the, the jade. Does it work for the just the jade? Destroy yeah, a card in hand that costs two or more. Yeah. I kind of want to focus a breach, but I'd rather get rid of that. So uh, prep the dark fire and a spark and play the gem and buy a jade. Sure. Replace it. Unleash! Jump! Jump. Watch him just do this strike like five times and we lose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter who takes that. Good, a nice provoker. All right, what do I have? A spark. He's only got one Fury token. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep those sparks parked at the moment. So the first card, if you buy a card, the first one is going to be in your next hand, just so you know. Hmm, thank you. Yeah, I've actually messed that up. Uh, I would like that to be on the bottom, please. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's you and me. Yeah. I can one-shot that minion, too, so you don't have to bother hitting it, either. Okay. Um, Seven ether. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty I good? I think yeah. maybe I'll do this and that. Then you get your diamonds together. All right, so you said just don't bother one-shotting that guy because you don't bother hitting that guy because you didn't one-shot him. So yeah. I'll do this. And let's see. What am I looking for? So I got my diamonds. And you're actually, you know, in this game, because we don't have to reach for six and seven cost spells, I like I like where this is at. So we're going to do this. Play gym twice. I, mean, I am actually going to go ahead and call out a bunch of these. Ooh, yes, I'm gonna grab one of those. Yeah, we don't have a way to destroy sparks, right? No. No. But we have a way to discard them. Right. Uh so yeah, may as well one shot that minion, get it out of the way. Maybe it will be one of those put them back into play instead of other bad things. Uh discard the spark and a crystal. <laughs> And leave the crystal, leave the spark there. Play those things. Do I want a sifter's yeah, what pearl? Is thing? Any cast? Save? Oh, right, right, right. Cast it without discarding it, and then cast it again. Yeah, I'll buy the relic, the three cost relic, the blowy uppy thingy. <laughs> That's its official name. Exactly. Uh, what do I have? Four plus one. Four plus one is five. See, that was how I knew that John was a really good computer programmer. Because <laughs> he was like, you know, four plus one yeah. equals five. I was like, oh my God, we should start a business <laughs> together. I really want to be focusing breaches and we don't have, we have, there's a relic that helps with that, I guess, but yeah, let's leave that there. Oh, okay. 
Play all the gems, focus breach four, prep for all the things. And Jade first, left to right. Strike. Oh my gosh, oh, oh. not our most expensive prep yeah, spells. Expensive spells. No. Well, you may as well discard uh, my top spark. Sure. And I'm the one who has spells to prep, so. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, take out another one of mine. Uh, put that on bottom so I can go after a Rageborn. Ten ether. Ten? Yeah, you're rich. You need some of those power cards to come up. Yeah, I'm gonna buy one of these healers. And I wonder if... Another healer? I don't know. I kind of love the Oblivion Swell. It's like my jam. Yep. We've got all of our top spells are about discarding other cards, which is kind of fun. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Unleash! Unleash the beast. Gravehold is suffering its first damage of the game. Unlike the last game. <laughs> yeah. What will you do with your three ether? You can't buy a spell. Yeah. I guess I'll focus. Um, I would leave this back there and play the relic and destroy a crystal. Uh, play the other crystal. Can I see what my next hand's going to be? Deck and then two discard. crystals and those bottom three gems. Cool. All right, so focus breach three, prep the dark fire into that, and prep the spark. And relic first, I think. It's still two ether, worst case, so. A pulverizing ray. That would be nice to go off right now. Excellent. <laughs> Your wish is my of, command. We have, tons of, we have tons of garbage gems. All right, so uh, yeah, so Basically I'll... like my whole hand. <laughs> Yeah, and then all of my hand, just discard my whole hand. <laughs> my spell does end up doing nothing, but that's okay. Better for you to have your crystal diamonds. All right, so now we know we've got at least should've, four I turns. I should put that in the other in the other slot, but oh well. I have to cast it for zero damage instead of leaving it for later. Mm, yeah. All right, so I assume we want to go after this guy first. Yeah, I kill that guy. <laughs> it's like the kingpin in uh, Into the Spider-Verse at the beginning. He sees Miles running off in the distance. He's like, kill that guy. <laughs> I just watched it the other night. That's why it was on my mind. The way you said it sounded exactly like him. All right. Look at this. I am, like, super rich. It's like the kingpin. <laughs> like the kingpin. Maybe. Isn't there, there's like an Easter egg in the Spider-Verse where someone throws a bagel at them when yeah. they're running out of the last. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not, it's it's not just that they throw the bagel. When the bagel hits, the like, poink, you know, like the onomatopoeia that you see in comics says bagel. Right. <laughs> That's a pretty great movie. It's so good. Yeah, I have you it in 3D. in 3D. I do! I was like, yes, I have it in 3D, <laughs> and it is glorious in 3D. All right, well, cast my spell for zero damage. Wow. 
and cast the sparks at it as well. I think. Let me try to take it out before. I think we should be able to take it out, right? Because you're gonna get to go again, and you have you have enough damage. Uh, yes, yeah. I have enough damage. Yeah. So although it's not sparks. the most optimal. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. We only waste one. Yeah, I guess I could have saved a spark, I guess, but that's fine. It's no big deal. So, prep the sparks, destroy a crystal. And play the crystal. Let's buy a sifter's pearl to replace a little bit of what we're losing here. So, uh, and discard the relic first. Want to health? Uh, sure. If you are offering. Yeah, I am. Yes, this can add zero damage if you wish. But you yeah, this it. is the one to discard. <laughs> a... Yeah. So it's good. good. Right. May as well have Rageborn go first. I think. Oh, see, my thinking was like. Banish it to the bottom, and then we know that we've got at least another four turns of only one more Rageborn. Like instead of Rageborn going twice in a row. Yeah, but Rage like if Ra Rageborn has no minions right now. That's true. That's fair. So like, let him go, and then we can deal with this that stuff. Versus us being able to have to cast our sparks at him or whatever instead of right something else. Yeah, I'll start charging up. That's fine. Yeah, like a cauterizer. Perfect target for our three sparks. Spark the cauterizer. It's sparky spark spark. Attack that lava monster. Attack him with fire. That'll take him down for sure. <laughs> all right, prep the spell. Play all the gems. Six jammy ether, five actual ether. That's me, Brian the Wolf Hunt. I am the kingpin. Kill what do I have guy. coming up in my next hand for my dark fire purposes? Sparks. Two sparks and some ether. Okay. Can't have too many dark fires because you don't end up have enough cards to discard. Right. Um so let's get the one with the healing, I guess. That's three damage reliably, so the, the bottom middle five spell. And discard left to right. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> He's only doing one damage. Uh, so hit Rageborn for six by discarding Sparks. And yeah, let's play the thing and destroy the crystal. And play that. You can discard my Spark. I really feel like I want more ether, so let's buy a diamond now. And yeah, the I guess the Sifter's Pearl first, probably. Sifter's Pearl can screw up your diamond, so be careful about that. Mm hmm. Uh, sure. <laughs> That's fine. And wait, there will be three and two. Yeah. Sorry, I should be talking through my thought process. <laughs> this is not good television or radio for that matter. Streaming 101. 
Streaming 101, you I don't need a, want uh, that there. Our previous nemesis, now uh, slightly annoying, but hardly worth worrying about. Probably should still kill it, but. Yeah. With Gravehold at 27, it's much less urgent. You need to cast your spells anyways. Yeah, I'm just, I'm looking to see. Yeah. The actual thought process is watch dolphins dive. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Coming up on Friday night. I guess we can focus that. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing this and open those up. Open this again. Yep. Friday night monthly Oblivion game. Nice. Unleash twice. Jeremy discards a spell. My goodness, I am just lousy with turns. Uh, sure. Heal up my good friend. Oh man, I'm definitely gonna not not keep going for my fifth turn in a row, or however many that is. All right. You didn't go five turns in a row. Rage it was like, Horn went for you. Yeah, but it's yeah, but I feel like it's been sitting on my little player card for a while. Yes, I like that a lot. Yay! And yep. You mixed up your diamonds. Yep, I did. I sure done did it, but it's all okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going down this path. Sweet. Ouch. Uh. All right. Prep the spells hurts. and play all the things. Um, all right. Let's buy the relic that lets us focus so I don't have to spend ether on that anymore. And left to right. Wow, such spells that I can't do. Um,. I should have looked at what was coming up. It wouldn't have made much difference, though. Uh, I guess I could have saved, bought some charges to be able to cast twice. Uh, well, hit Rageborn with all that. The good spell first. Discard a spark. Heal position. Heal thyself. Hit Rageborn. Prep the good spell and a spark. Play a crystal. And turn. Lose four charges. Yeah. That's probably worth doing. Blood cry. Uh, except I do want to. I want to do that. Uh, you can just do that if you get to go before Rageborn, which is not a given. Right. Before Rageborn goes twice, which is likely, but not a given. Uh, interesting. All right, let's play this straightforward then. Cast the spark at Rageborn and finish casting. Then prep the spark. Uh, play the diamond. Do I want to destroy the Sifter's Pearl? Probably not just yet. Play the Sifter's Pearl. You can return that to deck, I suppose. Let's play the relics. Focus my breach four. I guess I didn't have to cast that spark today. Well, that's fine. Uh, play the other relic. Buy two charges. Discard the power card. And buy a charge. And 
I didn't get to buy another diamond. So, uh, yeah, discard left or right. That's fine. I'll get there. Now you've got to go anyway, so well. <laughs> All right, so we've got an unobstructed Rageborn, whom I can wail upon, and no way for me to open another breach. Mm. Nope. You can choose to go again this round, though, with me or you. I'm happy with either one. We have plenty of healing to pay for this, so. Yeah. Spend seven. Two cards, spend seven. Well, we don't have that this turn, but maybe before he goes again. Uh, yeah, hit Rageborn and discard a spark and a crystal. Sure. Big damage. Leave the spark there. Play the gems. Prep the spell. For... Uh, yeah, focus breach. Well, do I want to focus breach three or get a charge? Let's get a charge. And jade first. I guess I'm not buying a jade, but end turn. Um. Yeah, I don't. Well, I don't know that we need to heal here. Up to you. Yeah, am I gonna open that? I think a health for us is better than a spark. Yeah, that's true. Like we have enough, we have enough health and healing that we can just be taking like an extra turn every round, basically, from your charges, which sure. is pretty sweet. You're sorry. not buying another charge. I only had one left. Wait, sorry, this is. You could have got it. You had an ether from Oblivion spell that you didn't take. Oh, that I didn't take. Well, yeah, I was starting to just tap through. My well, bad. you tapped on the thing that warned you about not doing that. <laughs> That's why it's there. Alright, still doesn't look like seven... Well, I could actually get seven ether this turn. Could get seven. So in order for that to happen, I can hit with this, eight. but I... Sorry? You could get eight. Yes. Um... So I'm not going to discard for that. Then why did you cast it? To deal two damage. Okay. I mean, you could... Sure. One, two, six, seven. Two, six, seven. How do you... Oh, I see how you can get eight. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. These. Get eight by doing the thing you didn't do last turn. There it is. Uh, yeah, that was solid. <laughs> okay, said John in a manner which suggested it was anything but okay. <laughs> Thank you, Take Walker. Can you just like walk around narrating my life? <laughs> so we're like, oh my god, I'm so sorry I ran into you. He wasn't sorry. <laughs> so we can uh, get rid of this thing by discarding. Discarding, destroying. Is that in hand or in... Destroy two prep spells that cost three or more. Two un versus unleashing three times. Yeah, that... <sighs> unleashing three times feels like the better bargain on that one to me. But I don't know. What do you think? It's basically one strike. That's what it costs. So yeah, for Rageborn, I think that's reasonable. For like other Oh sure. Yeah, I'm talking about for in other this nemesis game right now. it would be horrible, but for Rageborn, it's fine. It's a strike. I think it's fine to not get rid of it. Yeah. 
Alright, so this time I will discard that. No, you know what? I won't. Actually, I'm thinking all the wrong things here. So I'm going to cast this one, and we'll destroy this spark. Why are you destroying a spark? You can't destroy a spark. Oh, sorry. That's I always get that one, and the one that's the one that gives a, a pie piece. Gives me a charge. It means that you correctly guessed in Trivial Pursuit. Uh, all right, so I'm going to finish casting. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and as we were just discussing, I don't think it's worth it to lose two of those for that. Ah, which means I get to do this. Why not? Heal up. Why not? We'll give it to Jin. Let's see, he's down to only gonna get one, two, maybe three, four. That's fine. I'll finish casting. Grab the extra. Hey! Extra ether. Extra ether. All right. I so there's bottom better. Yeah, bottom. Yeah, because there's two of you and one of it. Yeah. Good, and so I've got the four, so I can buy my two charges, and I will prep that up there. We'll do exactly that. Now I'm gonna take a nap. Poor regular Rageborn. Uh, yeah, cast the second spell at least at Rageborn. And this one is discarding for heals. Yeah. Discard a spark for the heal, sure. And finish casting. Uh, prep the spark. Play the gems, all the gems. You can keep that on my deck. Uh, what do you have, you, the one, what's the one you have prepped that's bigger? It's two damage, or you can discard a gem. Discard the gem for more, yep. right. Interesting. Should I use that instead of doing all the stuff? Yeah, why don't go back, don't play those gems. Use my ability to cast your spell twice. And discard the, the diamond, and then discard the other thing. We'll do 11 damage instead. And play the crystal and enter. Oh no! Rageborn is doing things. Um, damage. Yeah, take the damages here, right? Yeah. I don't know. No that matter it, who. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're both. We both have a decent amount of healing. The players collectively discard the two oh, no, most we have to expenses. Discard sparks. <laughs> we keep getting this. Uh, uh, I'm going next, so. Okay. You can keep I yours. I can cast one of mine, or whatever. No. Well, yeah. Do you, do you have that many? I guess you did. Um. Wait. Sorry. I thought I'd hit rewind. I guess I didn't hit it in time. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Uh, so, yeah, just cast the sparks. He's going to be dead soon enough. May as well make that happen sooner. And play the gem. Well, yeah, don't play the gem, sorry. Play the thing to destroy the crystal. That's probably better. Uh, play the thing to open breach four. Prep the big spell there, prep the spark, get a charge. And not much longer, discard whatever. The Rageborn will not last much longer. One more cycle of spells that do things. So hit him with the big spell, discard a spark, and my starter gem, which is just a crystal now. Hit him with the spark! Prep the spell, play the thing, buy charges. The end. Oh no, we're in tier three. 
Uh, there you go, the spells again. All our spells. Uh, prep the spark into breach, the top breach. Play the relic to get to ether. Buy a charge. Use my ability. Kill Rageborn. The end. I'm glad we got to go out on a victory. It was starting to feel, <laughs> it was starting to feel pretty oppressive after well, last week's. You did want to be lose. playing the hardest, hard difficulty mode. That's true. <laughs> it was still fun. All righty. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, if you're brand new to the show, welcome. Um, we just launched a game ostensibly yesterday, but in most of the real world it was today. It's called Aeon's End. We've been playing it. Um, and it is now finally available, so you can go check it out on your tablet. Um... Yeah. Just, I don't know. We're making another game. You want to talk about that? Um, yeah. So we are making another game. Yeah. <laughs> Anzen was our fourth game. It was game four. Game five is a little game called Spirit Island. It's by our friends over at Greater Than Games. Um, it's uh, a cooperative area control settler destruction game. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's going to be going up on uh, Indiegogo pretty soon. Um... And you can follow us on Twitter or Facebook or all the places to hear more about that. Lou Dolphin says, I thought Aeon's End was game five. Well, let's run them through. It's Sentinels of the Multiverse. Bottom of the ninth. One deck dungeon. Aeon's End. And now... You can't Uncle Slam? I am not <laughs> Take Walker Uncle says Uncle Slam. <laughs> I put a link to the Spirit on Digital uh, website where you can sign up to be notified. When the campaign goes live. Yes, presidential pugilism, indeed. Um, that was, in fact, a game, but it was not made by the corporate entity that is currently Hand Labor Games. <laughs> is that were there enough weasel words in there? Yes, John and I were a part of a team. You muted yourself with your butt. I sat on my thing again. <laughs> um, yes. Yes, it's legalese. The long and the short of it is it's our fifth digital tabletop game is Spirit yes. Island. That's the better way to put it. All right, our folks. Fifth, good, first, first fifth game that we are happy about. <laughs> yes. And to let you all a little bit even further behind the curtain, we're already talking to who could potentially be game six. Because that's how far ahead we think. I'm playing nine-dimensional chess against the world. Galaxy brain. Jeremy. Yeah, I'm... I play, I'm, I'm trying to plan a whole project, one project in advance, because that's what a great CEO I am. All right. Got to keep things moving. Folks, you have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we do this several days a week. I don't honestly know which days anymore, because Krista handles all of that. But this show is on Tuesday nights. Um, I've been here for the last couple weeks. I'm here this week. I'm going to be here again next week. I'm spoiling you, Crazy. people. You're welcome. Um, and it feels so good to be here on Tuesday nights. It's like it's a rhythm I used to be in every week where it was like my sort of early midweek chill where I get to stay at the work at work late and play games and it was super fun and then I stopped doing it on a regular schedule. So I'm excited to do it uh, again for a few weeks. All right, everybody, have a wonderful night. We will see you out there. See you next time. <laughs>